Hello and welcome back to the workshop. Tonight we're going to clean up this coffee pot and get it working again. Um, if you have one of these Cuisinart carafe coffee pots, coffee makers, uh, you will likely have this problem. Uh, it's just the the inside of this cap gets really uh, gets really dirty with coffee grounds and and coffee that uh, evaporates and the leftover coffee inside of it. Um, I had actually cleaned this a few weeks back. Uh, maybe I didn't get it well enough uh, because it happened again this morning. So uh, I'm going to open it up, see if there's something else going on, and I'm going to walk through kind of how this whole lid mechanism works. Um, there's some vents and there's a float inside. Uh, but it's rather difficult to get apart. Uh, so that's going to be this first first part to it. Actually, before we take it apart, I'm going to uh, pour some water in it and really show how this operates. So this I mean, it's a coffee pot, right? Sit inside, the coffee grounds are in a filter in a basket above, and uh, it drips down over top of this little cover here. Uh, inside there is a float, kind of hard to see, there's a float inside that lets that coffee, that the coffee kind of fills up in this top part, and then that coffee flows down inside. So I'm going to see how it works with water, um, see if there's anything obvious. I am going to put it in this little tray. So we're just simulating the coffee. Pour in. And we're just watching water flow in. Alright, so it might be running a little slow. The, uh, the overflow this morning could have also been that I might not have emptied the pot all the way uh, before I refilled it. Uh, I've gotten in a pretty good habit though of remembering to do that. Uh, it's kind of easy to forget to empty out all the old coffee before setting it to start the next morning as a program cycle. Alright, that seems to be flowing okay. I'm going to go ahead and open the top up. and. Uh, We'll see if there's something that needs to be cleaned up or blown out. Okay. The, uh, the hard part is that this lid is a couple of separate pieces. The, there's a seam uh, right along the bottom here. Uh, and that the two pieces fit together there, but it's just a, it's a compression fit or a, like a snap fit. The easiest thing I have found is to use a spoon and wedge it in the opening. And it takes a little bit of dexterity. Let's keep it this way. I want to. I want to try to give as much surface pressure, or, you know, I don't want to bend the plastic, and that's really the hard part. Yeah, I think I'll bend it down to a small one. It's really just, really, you can see I'm kind of just getting, holding a finger under there. And, Pressing up. I'm not really prying, but I am trying to bend away the rest of the lid. Let me try the other side now.
There it is. Broke it free. All right, so I've got two halves. Uh, this top part that has this float inside of it. Uh, there's a little stem that comes through the bottom. That all looks pretty clean. Uh, I'm going to get a bottle brush or, or something to get in under there to make sure that float's working. And actually, you know what? Uh, it was feeling that way. Four, so. So that float appears to be working okay. Uh, next half is this, this bottom piece. Uh, kind of really how that works is, okay, so that's on top. The coffee flows into the middle and then it flows out these two back holes. Let me grab a pointer. Got to pick now so I can point it. So coffee flows in, magic coffee floating in, and then flows really down into these two valleys and then out the back. And then that goes into the carafe. Now, being that it's a sealed, right, there's a gasket around the outside, so this is sealed, there appears to be a air passageway from the center of the carafe from the carafe to the outside because if the coffee goes in we need to let the air out so it can go out that way it can also i've also seen it go out the pour spout and there's a little flapper on the bottom i think i think the air will also go out there and uh, so let's i'm gonna try we're gonna put this in here we're gonna try this piece so gasket, the uh, air passageway, spin that into place. So without the top cover, right? coffee in there, and then it should flow out, and then the air should really escape out this passageway. That seems to be working okay. And that has a really nice quick flow to it. One thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to I want to put some water in around this gasket. I want to see what happens. All right, so. See that? We had bubbles coming out the front. I would have expected. Oh, I got some coming out the back here now, too. Yeah. All right. That's more what I expect. I think I just didn't clean that passageway all the way. So. But what will happen normally is that I've seen just coffee get caked. You know, as the coffee evaporates, whatever left is left over, the, it's not really grounds, it's a powder, gets caked into these holes. And that, uh, that uh, really just doesn't let it drain. So I'm betting there's, uh, there's something in that hole too. And really just washing this is just with uh, warm soapy water. Grab a air. Yep. Trusty air nozzle. Now, where'd the hole go? So let's sit there and it comes out there. Any and outy.
trying not to blast blast it into my face. All right, that seems to be clear. That seems to be working. I got a little bit of coffee dirt powder it looks like. That's where it's coming off of. The downside is that it just gets kicked all in there after a while. Uh, I think I went about two years before actually having to break into it again and, and clean it. Alright, so I am willing to bet the problem was with that. Being that it's so small, that's pretty easy uh, to get clogged. Um, fortunately, there's no real good way for a brush or anything to get in there. Uh, compressed air seems to be about the only thing that would probably work. Yeah, I've got air coming out here and there. Now normally, all right, that shouldn't be filled up with anything. Hear the flapper. All right. I'm going to run a pot of hot water through it. Uh, not really brew any coffee, but just run uh, run water through it and see how it works. Okay, so follow up. The uh, test with the water did not go well. It overflowed across the top. So I pulled it apart again uh, and realized something about this bottom cap. That uh, is actually the entry port. Um, I can take this pipe cleaner and, and stick it in and can actually see it. See where is it? Right there. Right there. So we can see that uh, go all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean that out before I run another test on it. And then also take the air to it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any other way to get that apart. Um, there looks like there's a that plastic here is glued into place. I don't see any other seams. Theoretically, I wouldn't have it. I mean, I wouldn't do it on the threads. Nothing else obvious where it pops apart. So. Uh, hopefully that's going to do it. I'm going to 
Gonna give it another shot. Well, okay, that was a success that time. Making sure to clean the extra passageways that's uh, hidden inside that, uh, inside that bottom piece. In any case, have a great night. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please press the thumbs up. If you want to see more content of me just fixing things around the house or the projects that I work on, please subscribe. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks, have a great night.